Okay, so today we are going to talk about one of the very important parameter in the process of deriving the climatic zones. Uh, as we know that the world is divided into four climatic zones and uh, basis of dividing into four climatic zones is the mean kinetic temperature. So in today's video, we are going to talk about what is mean kinetic temperature, who has invented it, and what is this process of calculating MKT by using Excel sheet. So let us begin with the presentation and share it is. So the mean kinetic temperature, that is MKT. So based on to the mean kinetic temperature, the entire world is divided into four climatic zones the zone 1, 2, 3, 4A and 4B. So let us understand, you know, how this uh, mean kinetic temperature need is calculated and here it is. So before we go on to the, the calculation formula, let us understand what is the definition of mean kinetic temperature given into the ICH guideline for uh, the stability study, which is Q1AR2. So a single uh, derived temperature that if maintained over a defined period of time affords the same thermal challenge to a drug substance or a drug product as would be experienced over a range of both higher and lower temperatures for an equivalent defined period. So we need to understand define the common temperature you know if you expose your drug substance or drug product to a common temperature it will also bring the equivalent amount of degradation or thermal degradation which otherwise would have been experienced because of the lower and higher temperature over a period of same time. Over a period of same time it is very important. So this is the calculation formula. This is the calculation formula for mean kinetic temperature. It looks a little complex but don't worry we are actually going to calculate the MKT. So the delta H stands for activation energy, typically 60 to 100 kilojoule per mole for solid and liquids. R is the universal gas constant. T is the temperature in degree Kelvin. N is the number of sample periods over which data is collected. The number of time points at which the temperature is measured. So the activation energy is nothing but the energy or the minimum amount of energy that must be provided for compounds to result in a chemical reaction. So let us understand what is the basis of you know arriving at the MKT calculation formula. So hence is the name of scientist who has provided the first equation for MKT calculation and he used Arrhenius equation which defines the temperature dependence on chemical reaction rates right the the first important assumption is what the whatever chemical degradation is going to happen is actually dependent on to the temperature the mkt is by definition higher than the arithmetic average temperature so it must be a little higher as compared to just the average of the temperature measured now as per uh, this the rate of reaction mostly doubles with every 10 degree Celsius raise in temperature. That means if you get a degradation of with the 10% of the rate uh, at 20 degree Celsius and if you increase the temperature to now 30 degree Celsius, the degradation rate must increase from initial 10% to now 20% which is double just by increasing the temperature by 10 degree Celsius. So let us begin with now how to calculate the mean kinetic temperature by using simple Excel sheet. Okay, so now with this Excel sheet, I am going to explain you how the mean kinetic temperature can be calculated and I am going to take the uh, 15 number of data points for the temperature measurement. So these are the values of the temperature in uh, degree Celsius. These are the values of delta H and universal uh, gas constant and this is the calculation formula for the mean kinetic temperature. So let us begin with the first step of you know calculating delta H by R. 
delta h by r so here is the value you can calculate for delta h divided by r and this is the value so how many n uh, number of measurements it's 15 so let me put n is equal to 15 over here so the first step is let me convert this temperature from degree celsius to degree kelvin and we know that we need to just add uh, 273.2 and that becomes the temperature in degree Kelvin now. So let me drag over here across all the uh, cells and this is done. The second important column is what about now. So let us look at the calculation formula. Now the uh, numerator part is done. Delta H by R is calculated. So in the, in the numerator, we have to calculate E raised to minus Delta H by RT1 rt2 and rt3 so let us first calculate the minus delta h divided by rt1 so let me put minus uh, sign over here minus delta h is this delta h is 83.14472 that is e4 in this calculation sheet and then divided by r this is the r and then further divided by the t1 okay so here is the t1 and here I go and this is the value minus 33.53454 but now to make our calculation easy I know that delta H is going to be common across all the uh, rows uh, even R is also going to remain common so I am going to insert the dollar sign across the specific cell and when I drag it now now only the value of temperature will get changed whereas the delta h and r will remain one and the same so these are the values of now minus delta h divided by rt1 rt2 rt3 to rtn the next important cell is e raised to because we need to calculate the e raised to minus delta h by rt1 so here i will use the excel function which is uh, exp so exp stands for exponential of e and just do this so i got the now values of e raised to all minus delta h by rt so the second important step is if you look at here it is the negative natural logarithm of the summation of the summation of all this e raised to minus delta h by rt1 so let me do the summation of all this e raised to minus delta h by rt1 okay so these are the cells and i have done with the summation of now all e raised to minus delta h by rt1 the next important step is all the summations of e raised to minus delta h by rt1 divided by divided by n look at here divided by n so n is 15 in this case so i have done with the this part also the next important step is i need to take now the negative logarithm of all this summation all this summation and i can get the help of excel sheet functions use ln ln as the function for the natural logarithm and this is the value that i need to input so i now got the uh, but here i missed one thing i need to put the minus signature over here so now this is the value of my uh, denominator that is minus uh, natural logarithm of this e raised to minus delta h rt1 to rtn so the next important is what now the mean kinetic temperature and for that i need to now just put the delta h by r factor from here and divided by this entire negative logarithm of this entire part from j9 and i got now 298.0 as the mean kinetic temperature in terms of degree kelvin so how to convert the degree kelvin into uh, degree celsius just subtract minus 273.2 from the same figure so i got now 24.77 degree celsius as my mean kinetic temperature for this observation the another important point is your mean kinetic temperature always a little higher as compared to just the arithmetic mean or the average so let us understand what is the average of this temperature 
let us understand what is the average of all this temperature <clears throat> and here i go with the average and let us calculate the average for all 15 temperatures so how much is the average we got we got 24.2 as the average of fair as 24.8 as the mean kinetic temperature so there is almost a 0.6 increase in the mean kinetic temperature as compared to the average temperature so i hope you must have now understood now what is the meaning of mean kinetic temperature who has invented the calculation formula for the mean kinetic temperature where it can be used and practically how it easy it is to calculate the mean kinetic temperature by using simple excel sheet calculation thank you very much for watching this video and i will meet you soon with such kind of another useful and informative video till then take care and bye bye see you soon